hey, Virgo Summon Rising in Venus. This is what we got going on for March 21st, 2023. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got Crystal Sage Incense, personal readings, and much more. The reading special is going on for anyone who's interested. Uh, tarotbarbie.com. I don't only take PayPal. Uh, I actually take other forms of payment, but you have to do a click, click, click. To for in, in order for you guys to actually be able to see that a lot of people just see paypal and they run away and they get scared but you can actually make other different kinds of payments if you guys are to keep clicking and, and if you're curious enough uh but nonetheless uh let's get it sweeties coming with the empress the hierophant and the world card i do believe a lot of you guys may have been messing around with a married person and even if they were in separation that you know you guys still got to be careful with, with putting your energy in places where it don't belong you guys are stepping into this empress energy some of you guys might be mothers and you guys are going to be absolutely heartbroken. It's it's really what it comes down to. This situation is like, it's like I don't want to say it like that, but I am going to say it like that. It's like you ended up breaking your own heart by thinking that this person is could have possibly have been married or in another relationship, and then you thought that they were going to end up with you in the end. You know, you know they they they've been through a lot themselves. Somebody here keeps getting married and married and married, like married over and over and over again. They've been married many times before, but that's because in the past life they've also done the exact same thing. Like this is the type of person that you know you go for a cup of coffee with them. In two months from now, they'll be married to that person. Like that's just how how they are. That this is how this is how they are. There's some people out here will they they will go for a coffee. They will go on for like four or five days, and then all of a sudden, boom, they're engaged. Yeah, because some people don't they don't they don't really they don't really want to fuck around. They just want to get married. And if it doesn't work out after a year, like this is the type of person that says, you know what, what's the point of us sitting here dating each other and being boyfriend and girlfriend with each other when we can just simply get married? And then after three years we can just get get a divorce, you know? It's fucked up. But anyway, you guys ended up hurting yourselves in this position because you guys believed whatever the hell this person was saying to you guys. So it obviously caused you guys a lot of heartache. Three of swords, four of swords, and Aries, a Taurus, a Libra. It doesn't necessarily have to be you guys, but nonetheless, it could be if you guys were putting yourselves in position with married men and married women. It's always good to be dealing with people after they're done getting a divorce. But, you know, everyone's going to do what they want to do at the end of the day. Uh, so it's like you don't want to be sad. You don't want to be alone. You don't want to feel nothing right now. You just want to simply go out. You're enjoying life. The weather's getting so much more better. Empress energy. And realistically speaking, this person could have possibly have been married. And they're coming to the realization that they're very sad and disappointed with the fact that they continuously do the exact same thing over and over and over again. And they're not getting anywhere at all, right? So at the end of the day, some of, the, some of you guys may live at a distance from this person, but I do believe you guys are going to reunite with them, see them, and you guys are going to have a party with them. Some of you guys have to travel to them. Some of you guys have to jump on a plane to go see them. And they're going to be picking you guys up also from the airport where you guys are going to get all the attention that you guys want with the Three of Cups to the Six of Wands to the World Card. That's you guys traveling. That's you guys going out partying, drinking, and a lot of people got their eyes on you. So this person's going to come towards you, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You guys are going to sit down and talk to each other, and you guys are going to speak to each other and figure out how you guys want to build this relationship. But it's too much going on with the Ten of Wands to the point where it's like, how can you guys fix something that was already so that's already so broken with the three of swords? So you're gonna be speaking up with the Queen of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Queen of Wands. There could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius who might be speaking to you here. But what I'm seeing with the Queen of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, you guys did everything you guys can to help this Queen of Swords out, and now they're sitting there trying to talk to you and speak to you as if as if you did something wrong to them. I do believe that this could be business oriented, where you guys are literally on game with your business and. And, it's, and then people are like, no, no, it's not that serious. We can wait, whatever. Okay, fine. So then you wait, but you guys are you guys are businessmen, businesswomen. You guys got shit you guys are doing. So it's like when you guys are helping people out or whatever with the Three of Pentacles to the Queen of Wands, it's like, how is this my problem now? I, I, you like you did your you did your part. Now this person's trying to send you messages, trying to act like you're the problem. It's saying, you know what? Don't worry about it, Queen of Wands. Don't even worry about it. Step into your power. Handle it handle it on site literally handle it on site like handle it when you when you're face to face with this person because you're on this text messaging shit you're not going to sit down and and sit down and talk to people on text messaging or or phone call or whatever it's not going to happen when you see them on site you're going to approach them you're going to talk to them and be like hey you know what i don't really appreciate what you, what you said to me it's nice that you that you care and whatever that you you know support but at the same time it's not fair it's not fair don't don't be sitting here projecting anything onto people especially people who are sitting there helping you at the end of the day don't make it look 
like it's their problem when this Queen of Wands did everything they can with the Three of Pentacles to be there for you, but then you decide to, to lack off. You, you decide to, to be, not be diligent, right? Two of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. Uh, don't let this person project and put negative shit into your head. Be the Queen of Wands. Be in your power. Be strong. Be strategic. A lot of you guys may also be finding out that your person up here has been fucking around with their baby mother and their baby father. They've been going back and forth, back and forth. When you guys realize what's going to go on, what's going to happen, you guys are going to be really upset about it. Also, be careful with police cars here as well. Uh, uh, speeding tickets. Do not run any red lights. Don't even bother running a yellow light at this point. There's talking about also surveillance and cameras. Some of you guys are going to be uh, speeding through like small zones, and it, you guys are going to that camera is going to fucking catch you. That camera is going to catch you. You're going to get a speeding ticket, and it's a six of pentacles. You're going to have to pay the fine. Even if you wanted to go to court for it, at this point, it doesn't fucking matter. They caught you red-handed on that fucking camera. And it might be in the middle of the night where you guys are not going to think anything of it and you probably not even notice it. And then they're also saying that somebody here might also have a warrant that the police are sitting down talking to each other with the Three of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, and the Moon Car. There could be also helicopters that are going to be going around or police cars traveling all the way around looking for a specific individual. <sighs> all right. Boom. Done. Uh, a lot of you guys may have been a mistress in this situation with the Five of Pentacles, Six of Cups, or the Five of Swords. You guys are all playing yourselves short. I don't know what's going on with you guys or whoever this, this energy belongs to. With the Five of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Five of Swords, it could be Cross Watcher, it could be Karmix, it could be Baby Mothers baby fathers anything but somebody here was a mistress coming to the future you guys know that you guys this is not a situation that you guys want to place yourselves in this person was gaslighting you they're very narcissistic they're very much so the person who doesn't care about anyone else's feelings they only speak to you and say what they want to say to you to 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 heave you in but that they're only about themselves you know and coming to the future it's not going to work out between you and this person a lot of you guys are going to go see them but nothing's going to move forward with them between the hangman and the three of wands just be very very careful you don't place any more end of your energy with people who are not good to you at the end of the day uh, there's going to be a lot of fighting a lot of you guys don't even know what kind of connection you guys are in at the moment with the five of wands to a sword seven sword. is this a is this a relationship uh, you know is this a friendship is this a situation ship is this a fucking fuck shit like what is this relationship and it comes down to the fact that there is no relationship here you guys placed yourselves or somebody here placed themselves in a situation that it was never a situation to begin with. You know, it's really fucked up. There's too much fighting, too much struggling, too much bullshit, too much uns uns unsurety. Is that a word? Too much unsure energy, um, you know, thinking that it's going to work out, but then it backfires. Tower card, like, no way. This is not going to, they're saying watch your back with the tower card to the seven of swords because this person doesn't have anything good to f good for you. This person is the very cold, very detached. They, they are only about sexual energy. They like to have control and power over you. And when you guys ask them questions, they don't tell you nothing anyway. And you guys are stepping into the Queen of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles. You guys should never have been with a man or a woman like this. You guys should never have ever looked at a person like this. Not in this type of energy anyway. Somebody who's very humble, who's very could be very vulnerable, very loving, very financially successful and beautiful. You guys should never have placed your energy with with men or women who are just so cold, so detached, uh, so arrogant, so disrespectful, acts like they know everything in the world, but they don't know nothing at all. Y you know, you guys should never have placed your energy. I can also see that you guys are maybe also going out on a double date as well. Be mindful that you guys, the females, you guys look like you guys are going to be the ones to pay in the end. The men are not going to pay. The men are not going to pay because they have no respect for women. This is mag maganist or whatever, men who don't fucking like women. But they look at women like they're objects. Yeah, this type of shit. Stay away from those type of fucking men. Stay away from women who fucking hate men. Stay away from men who fucking hate women. What is the world coming to? I don't understand what the world's coming to. What are you guys, what is everybody crying about out here? You're crying about feminism, but there's equality here. Everything is equal at the end of the day. If you want to go do construction, you can do construction, Galdam. If you want to fucking fly a plane, you can fly a plane too. I don't know, I don't, I'm not understanding what everyone's crying out about. If you're just simply a piece of shit, that's because you choose to be a piece of shit. If you choose to hate women and if you choose to hate men and you think that men and women don't need each other, we all need each other at the end of the day. 
day. A woman needs a man and a man needs a woman. If you're thinking otherwise, that you're going to be able to, I don't know, conquer the fucking world by yourself and you don't have need the help by other people who have the knowledge or other strategic ways to engineer things, then you're absolutely wrong and dysfunctional. I, I don't know what to say to you. And that's just my opinion. That's how I, that's my, that's my opinion. I feel that way. I feel that way. Because God made men and God made women. There's, it's, it's, we need men and we need women. But somebody here hates women and somebody here hates men. For what? So you sit there and you were telling the other woman, oh, no, you could pay for the dinner. You could pay for the dinner. And the women are going to end up fucking paying. But after they pay, they're never going to talk to you ever again. Because a woman like this, they know themselves. They know that they, they deserve to be treated like a fucking queen. Not to be abused and, and heartbroken and, and horrified and ruined. This is fucked up. How dare you ever treat a man, a man or a woman like this? How, how dare you try and take a man's masculinity away from them? And how dare you trying to destroy a fucking female? How dare you? How dare you? Respect is something that you have within you. All right? If you, just, if you simply hate women or you hate men, that's because you're conditioned. You're conditioned. The society is getting to your fucking brain. Grow the fuck up and educate yourself. Uh, Six of Pentacles, the full card, and the Seven of Cups here as well. So, at the end of the day, you guys are going to go back towards this person thinking that they're going to be able to help you. I do believe somebody here is really thinking like, you know what, let me see if I can go get some money from this person. Yeah, you guys got to stop doing this type of shit. Somebody here only hangs out with people that they feel like they can be benefited from. Oh, like, yeah, this guy has a bunch of money. I'm going to go and be with them because they have a lot of money. Okay, and so why don't you go learn to be an independent woman or go be an independent man? Why don't you go make your own fucking cake? Why do you have to be with people to only be with somebody because of their fucking money? That's fucked up. I don't know. I know. Anyway, uh, also, also, uh, Virgos. You guys got love, success, happiness, and prosperity on the way for you guys, all right? Somebody here could have also been very much so confused. It could be an Aries and also a Pisces or even a Cancer. This person may have been a little bit confused about the relationship. They feel like it's, they don't want to beg you, obviously, for any attention or anything like this, but you guys are absolutely guarded with the Seven of Wands, the High Priestess, and the Nine of Wands energy, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that, but because you guys are able to pick up and use your intuition at, at all costs, it's like your intuition tells you when something doesn't feel right for you, so you know how to protect your energy. I do believe also that there are people here that were sitting down or trying to attack you guys during the new moon energy. It's saying, don't worry about it. None of these people can touch you. You're absolutely protected and you will handle your opponent opponent on site. You will handle your opponent on site. So if they want to, if they, if they want to beef with you, then they're going to ask, they're, they're asking for a fight with you. If they want beef, then you're, you'll, you'll smash them with beef. It's, it is what it is. If you want, if you want the smoke, then you're going to blow the smoke, you know, <laughs> And that's something. Look at that with the two of swords there. The, the swords are not even showing up. It's like your enemy with this energy right here is like they don't even know who you are or what you're capable of. They have no idea. No idea. But they want to blow the smoke and you guys are going to fucking blow the smoke back onto them. Also, Virgos, uh, you guys got an Aries, uh, yeah, this person wants to come towards you guys. You guys may have felt like this person wasn't giving to you guys the way that you guys needed them to give to you, but at the end of the day, they made the decision that they're going to be coming back for you guys as well. This person's coming towards you with the Nine of Wands, the High Priestess, and the Seven of Wands. They want to come back and they want to fight for the relationship, but you guys are stepping into the energy of the High Priestess of the Ace of Cups, Two of Cups. It looks like you guys are going to go out with each other, have a couple drinks with each other, do your thing, and you guys are going to be maybe even going for a ride or whatever the case is with the Four of Cups. Some of you guys might be dissatisfied with this person's energy for whatever reason so funny and they are going to be speaking to you they could be uh page of wands aries leo sagittarius heavy on the leo taurus virgo capricorn but you guys are so focused on yourselves at this point where you guys may not have the time to be dealing with stupid shit anything anything but it's nice to go out and, and get to know people this is important to be actually socializing uh you guys also have a boss figure here coming in for you guys with the king of pentacles eight of pentacles ace and ace of swords uh you guys got a boss some of you guys are looking for a job that job is coming in for you guys uh, you guys got money coming for you guys as well uh, but you guys are going to be receiving some sort of message from your boss and they're going to be asking you, hey, do you want to come into work? Eight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, that message is coming in for you guys. Expect that message to come in for you guys. All right, Chariot card, you guys got to rush and hurry up and go to work, it looks like. Um, 
but you guys do really fabulous work here with the ace of swords to the eight of pentacles you guys are like very much so perfectionist and you guys get your work done you guys honestly everything you guys touch turns into the nine of cups really which is honestly so great for you guys you guys have probably done this for a really long time with the seven of pentacles but realistically speaking like you guys are really good and and perfect your work at all costs a lot of you guys are running your own businesses here with the king of pentacles to the emperor card your business is going to start blooming or getting more successful with the ace of swords the chariot card you guys got god god is the one that's actually guiding you to your business with the chariot card to the ace of swords expect money coming in like almost immediately so everything is going to flourish be much more better for you guys and a lot of you guys are having to travel back and forth back and forth you guys are going to have to try and find a way to hold yourselves down there could be a virgo an aries leo sagittarius who's seeing you at the moment this person is very attracted to you but the attractiveness that they have for you is stressing them out so much they're like literally obsessing over you maybe even sexually obsessing over you at the same time four of wands ace of pentacles they simply see you as like a breath of fresh air they are attracted to you you're attracted to them they're obviously sexually attracted towards you guys but it does stress them out a lot with the nine of swords because they want to make this offer for you so when you guys go hang out with each other, you guys are actually going to have a really good time. I do believe somebody's going to be going out for some sort of walk here or spending a lot of time in nature when you guys are going on this date with each other, all right? You guys could have been dealing with a Virgo, a Gemini, a Capricorn, and also an Aquarius. Uh, there could also be an Aquarius here who might have you guys on block. Uh, eventually, this person might reach out to you guys, but it'll be too late. You guys are going to be on somewhere else in the world, and like I guess you guys are traveling, whatever. They're going to reach out to you maybe a week before you guys are actually traveling, and it's still then it's it's too late. So so sad because the world card. It's it's too late. Like you you message them way too late. Or they message you way too late and you guys are getting picking up and mo making a move, right? Uh, anyways, uh, so you guys are creating this star energy for yourselves where you're not, you're going to start doing your own thing and it is what it is. Who wants to be in your life is going to be in your life. Who doesn't want to be, you guys are just simply going to do your own thing. Two of Wands, Ten of Cups. And you guys are walking away from this Aquarius at this point. Anyway, it's going to be on the full moon. Not on, not on this moon. It's going to be on the full moon. You guys are going to call judgment. Yeah, there you go. And you guys are putting an end to it. You're not, you're not going to sit around much longer. If it's not going to be you guys, it's going to be the Aquarius. They're not going to sit around much longer. They're going to be like, no, there's no point. There's no point of, anyway, the connection is done. It's done and over with. Because it's not just because of what you, it's because it's the two of wands to the judgment card. And it's the, the death card too. So these are major arcanas. And especially with the justice card to the magician card as well. Whoa, and the wheel of fortune. Holy shit. Holy oh, crap. Yeah, so that means it's it's divine. It's, it's divination. Uh, spirit and the angels are stepping in. They're putting an end to this connection. I don't believe that the spirits and the angels agree with this relationship at all. So for that, uh, it's coming to a complete ending. It's like, no, since you're not going to put an ending to it, we are going to put an ending to it. It's a death card. They're placing their sword and they're putting their sword down. They said, no, we're not going to let it move forward. We're blowing the horns, we're blowing the trumpet, we're going to put an end to it, death card. It's not up to you, we're going to be the ones to put an end to it. And that's again, you guys, judgment. So it's not really realistically you guys calling judgment, it's spirit and the angels calling judgment and saying, no, sorry. You know, you guys may have tried to do everything you guys can to make this relationship work. Maybe somebody here tried to do even spell work as well. But nonetheless, the world is going to continue to turn no matter what. This world's still moving at the end of the day. I don't know why people are waiting on anybody out here. Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, and the Strength card. Uh, there's going to be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, you guys look like you guys are going towards a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio to the Strength card. You know, I more so with the fact that this, uh, you guys look like you're making the decision that you guys simply want to be with this water sign. You guys feel like it's a great connection between you and them. And you guys are going to do everything in your power to make this relationship work with the Magician card to the Wheel of Fortune. Even during Mercury Retrograde, nothing bad is going to happen between the two of you guys. Everything will be balanced out. The Wheel of Fortune to the Strength card, it's like you guys are going to be able to still make the relationship work. It's not going to be fucked up or anything like that. You, could, This person loves you. You're going to take it slowly. You're not going to rush it. You're going to go with the waves. You're going to go with the Mercury Retrograde and just make simply make it happen and make it work because you are the Magician to the Justice card. So... You're making the head over heart decision that's saying like, you know what, I actually love this person very much and I'm going to make it work. Thanks, cuties. Bye.